Hi, in this lesson we will be discussing some of the features and capabilities which is being brought by Spark MLlib. So let's dive into and the first of the features is the ease of use uh, capability that since it is developed for the use within Spark, it is also connected. We can also connect Apache Spark with all the or we can also connect machine learning library with other APIs as well. And if I have developed my code, it can be connected with the Java, Python and R application and the libraries. So for example, if I am using uh, a Python, I am confident in Python and now for a use case, I need Spark MLlib for, for distributed uh, in nature so I I can easily jump towards spark MLlib and then with the help of its distribution in nature it with the help of its parallel computation I can easily build my Python code on the uh, uh, application of spark and then we can uh, use this uh, for the uh, our any business use case so because of this uh, interconnection between the spark and live with the python java and r and all the popular languages we can use spark ml lib in various amount of time so this is a, a easy ease of use scenario then we have performance and it is much faster than its competitor competitors and a comparison run by the apache spark and map to do showed that the ml lib was 100 times faster than the when uh, than apache hadoop so with the help of performance wise with the help of usability wise it is very much uh, compatible it is very much favored among the other uh, competitors in the market then we have compatible Ability. we can spark can run on different uh, services such as amazon ec ec2 hadoop yarn and Mesos, and it can also run on a single standalone cluster mode so for example all the world is being going towards the cloud based technologies such as amazon azure and then the the compatibility nature of this uh, amazon is that uh, of apache spark is that, that it can connect with that all cloud vendors and we can use this uh, apache spark and ml lib libraries over the cloud as well and it can also run on a standalone cluster mode so for example if i need to deploy uh, apache spark in my computer i can easily deploy it and uh, you make use of the parallel computation spark is also able to take data from numerous sources such as including apache services so we we can connect data from different apache services and the flat file and the log file so that it it is it, it, the data extraction part can be very much uh, friendly uh, in in this terms then we can have a functionality and the the numerous built-in algorithm for any use case be it classification use case be it recommendation regression and uh, uh, and clustering all those use cases we have couple of algorithm which are built in and we we just need to call those uh, algorithms and then just we just need to pass our data in that algorithm and the the things will be run enough other utilities include uh, feature transformation machine learning pipeline model evaluation can also be done in the apache uh, apache spark ml lib library then then we have capabilities of ml lib and which include algorithm from all the uh, use cases which we had studied in the past and which the data science industry has brought in so we have linear regression we have support vector machine then we have uh, term frequency or tf idf for the natural language processing task then we have the recommendation using we have algorithm using uh, for the recommendation using uh, alternative least square methods uh, we have algorithm for uh, decision tree so all those algorithms are being combined enough in this uh, ml lib library in order to facilitate us uh, for uh, model deployment then we can have the feature uh, ex uh, feature feature extraction transformation and the all those methods dimension reduction methods include pca svd cholesky decomposition we can uh, use those methods in uh, directly uh, we can call those methods right right from the machine learning lib 
libraries then uh, the process we can save the algorithms and the pipelines in order to run in the uh, for the future so for example if i have a data of 8 gb and i need to train that and the training has been done in 5 days now at the 6th day i need to pass the testing data also so how do I save that model so here the model can be saved and then at the next day when I am passing the structure uh, uh, testing data I can use that save model and then uh, apply my transformation towards the testing data and then uh, I will ask the model to predict the testing data accordingly then we have utilities and the uh, pipeline which which will import the data which will clean that data which will feature featureize that data and then it will apply some of the machine learning models as per our need so we have a whole combined look at the machine learning library which in involve the performance functionality compatibility and the uh, some really cool algorithm advanced algorithm which will comprehend us and it will give us a really cool uh, idea around the machine learning uh, libraries and we can use uh, this mllib library for all our machine learning workloads